the United Kingdom and Nigerian lawmakers have come together to try to core brain drain in the Nigerian healthcare sector. So let's start first with the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom has placed Nigeria on a list of countries that should not be actively targeted for recruitment by health and social care employers. As we've seen, you know, the trend, as we've seen the trend, you know, following the past four or five years, it has been the jackpot trend, especially by the professionals in the medical sector, doctors, nurses, um, lab um, technicians, um, biochemists, and, you know, and people study anatomy, physiology, and the rest of these people have been seeking greener pastures in Europe. Over and over again, we are second to India. India has the highest level of brain drain in the world. And in our medical sector, Nigeria is second with the second highest level of brain drain from a dying medical sector. I am not trying to, um, will I say, vindicate the government's role in the, way the, in the way the medical sector has been. I am saying that we are not being patriotic enough. The Nigerian medical student, in fact, the, the Nigerian educational system, except those who are attending private schools, are benefiting from taxpayer subsidy. It would interest you to know that. The school fees you're paying in any government school, be it state or federal, is subsidized. You cannot get this level, you cannot get the education you, you have right now as a medical practitioner or one who is, you know, um, who is still practicing, who is still learning in every city. You can't get this education anywhere else in the world for the same price. We are being heavily subsidized in our academic or in our educational sector, especially tertiary education. The government pays a huge chunk of the money you should be paying for fees. The government pays your lecturers their salary. Your school fees is being used to run maintenance in your different universities. So you owe this nation a great service, an obligation to build. You owe this nation an opportunity to build. Now, the United Kingdom has not even done so well. Because we're not going to um, try to discredit them here. They have tried. But they should have done this earlier on. Nigeria was on the red list for the longest time. Nigeria has been on the red list of nations that should not be recruited actively for the longest time because our healthcare system lacks adequate hands. We have very few hands. You have very few hands in, in hospitals, few nurses, few doctors, few lab attendants, few. Because everyone is running abroad, running and leaving the system dead. Seeking greener pastures outside the shores of this country. Now, we're going to give them air for effort. That's to the, to the UK. Although it's, it has taken them almost a decade to implement this, but nonetheless, you know, um, a job done is a job, is going to be a job well done. So, um, you would like to know that the World Health Organization is the, is the body that is responsible for, you know, um, making um, these listings. So, about 55 countries are on, are on the red list. So, Nigeria... The red list when a journal falls is drawn from the World Health Organization. So in March, the WHO, which is the World Health Organization, published the safeguard list comprising 55 countries, including Nigeria, that are struggling with shortage of health workers. Shortage of health workers has bedeviled the Nigerian medical sector for a long time now, and everybody just wants to leave. I am advising and I'm charging anyone, please build. There's a mindset that Europe has that we don't have that has caused them to be the way they are. Now, this mindset is not responsible for all the development we see, you know, in, in, um, in Europe, okay? But it has been a major mindset. So technically, Europeans don't have any other place to go to. They don't, that's why they can't have the jackpot syndrome, okay? I'm not saying that there's no migration. Please don't come and say me that, oh, I know that there are doctors leaving the UK, going to um, maybe Saudi Arabia or going to some Arab countries or going to some other countries where they will be paid higher for their, you know, for their expertise. My point is that it is not a culture. It has not become a norm in, the, in European societies for people to want to leave Europe because where are you then going? So because they have no other place to go, it has forced them to have to fix their society. And it has taken them sometimes hundreds of years to fix it. Now, those of us in Africa, I'm speaking particularly to the Nigerian community, because there is Europe to go, we are very lax. We become non-challenged. We don't care. 
the system is so bad and what our response let's leave it alone for who to fix it for who to fix it if we don't begin to change this mindset and want to stay and build if you're going abroad go there with the mindset to get further education to get more training maybe acquire more degrees to one day come back and build because this is your motherland this land has fed you and has educated you from nursery up until university education and what are you then what are you then saying to it oh you just want to run and leave it to continue wasting away and you know just watching and eroding i you may say that oh i'm not the one that has spoiled the system i agree but what are you doing to fix this nation as a patriotic citizen i'm calling us and i'm challenging us to return to nation building we have to build we have no other nigeria except this so please let's stop you know um, like i say fighting and throwing stones at the uk government or the, at, at the nigerian lawmakers who are trying their best now let's even look at what the house of reps and uh, you know are trying to do you know, in trying to, will I say, tweak the law a bit in order to compel Nigerian doctors and healthcare workers to remain in this country for a minimum of five years. So the lawmakers are proposing a five-year mandatory service by Nigerian-trained medical doctors before they are being given a full um, um, practice license. So once the, the is now it, it, it is it is still being um, will I say um, looked at at the national national assembly. So it's not yet a law. Okay, it's a bill that is being passed. But the idea is that once you're done with medical school, you'll be issued a temporary practicing license. Then when once you're done, you're practicing in Nigeria for a minimum of five years, you can then seek services abroad. Please, for God's sake, what is the big deal? What is the what what fundamental human rights are these guys breaking? What? After going through Nigerian uh, education, you know, subsidy, taxpayers have paid for your education for six, seven, eight years, depending on the duration. Whatever you paid was maybe 10, sometimes 15% of the actual amount of money you have paid to run that course. You paid 10%. And people are saying, come and work. Oh my, for five years and it's a big deal. This, it just shows how unpatriotic the Nigerian people have become over the years. We would blame this largely to the way um, the, the country has been over the past decade or, or two. But then what are you doing to help the situation? That's just the, the, the point I'm trying to make here. It's not to cry and cry and lament and say, oh, Nigeria is bad, Nigeria is terrible, Nigeria is all shades of black and all shades of, you know, um, red and ugly. What are you doing to help to change that image? Please, for God's sake, I'm strongly wishing that this bill gets assented to by National Assembly and it gets, you know, passed into law. So that the people in this country will be forced to repay this country for the love and for the you know and for the help that it has shown the medical people in this country. There's been they shot it, there is a short it in medical practitioners in the country. This is no news to anybody. We know it. The the, the patient to doctor ratio is alarming, patient to nurse ratio is alarming. The hospitals are so so few to to even um, manage the people on board a lot of hospitals are being built you know by state government on a on maybe or i say on a quarterly basis that is um maybe on a tenure basis that is per tenure this one oh they'll build this one oh they'll build that one and we don't even have the doctors to manage these things so please please let's return to our national identity please we are nigerians this is our country nobody will build this country for us all the trade agreements we can get into with the, with the west with east with, with russia with china with america with france whatever country they would work based on the momentum that we build if we are like a decibel about this country they will be the same way but if we are serious and intent on nation building it would compel them to look at us from a different perspective please be a nigerian and be a patriotic nigerian fight to see this nation being rebuilt in your own nooks and cranny you may say oh i'm not a politician do what you can do in the place you found yourself please 
And as always, remember to tell a friend that you are in Nigeria. Thank you.